Hey, and welcome to Brass with Ben, where sticky valves don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it, alright? Hey, and welcome to Bite Size Brass with Ben, where sticky valves don't exist. Today, we're going to learn how to oil our valves, because a sticky valve can make you miss notes where you don't mean to miss notes, play a gliss where you don't mean to play a gliss, or fall off a note when you mean to move gracefully. So let's learn and dive into how to oil these valves. Alright, to oil those valves, we're going to need a trumpet, some valve oil, and we're going to want to do this on a carpeted floor or over a towel, because if you do it on a uh, tiled floor or on a floorboarded floor, then you might slip over on the oil uh, that gets spilled a little bit later, so we want to avoid that. First off, we're going to grab our trumpet, and we're going to unscrew those valves from the bottom bit that attaches to the valve casing. Take them out one by one, we're going to do this so that we don't forget which order they go in and put them in the wrong place because then the trumpet won't play. With this valve, we're then going to open up our valve oil and being reasonably liberal, we're going to just gently apply that valve oil all over. It doesn't matter if a bit drips off, that's going to take any extra gunk or build up that is sitting on that valve with it, so that's actually a good thing. Once we've got that oil onto the valve, we're going to put it back into that trumpet in the same spot that you got it from with the number there'll probably be a number on it just on the front there and that will be facing in most cases towards the mouthpiece once it's in we're going to click it into place just like that and screw that back on there that has some very very thin threading so if we don't get it the first time it doesn't really matter uh what matters is that we are being nice and gentle because if we if we break that threading then we'll need a whole new valve Excellent. Give it a go and let me know how you went with that in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.